Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having a beautiful day. Today, I have a story time of when I got into my first ever car accident. My mom told me that I did get into a car accident when I was a lot younger, like really young, probably in elementary school. I think I was in elementary school and it was not big of a deal. It was just someone hit us from like the side. It wasn't that bad, but this one was a lot worse. It was really big of an impact that I remember it till this day and it feels like it just happened yesterday what happened was that one night my mom wanted to go have ice cream so she asked me and my sister to go and one of her friends to go we went and pick him up and the ice cream place is actually not that far from his house so we're driving to the ice cream place it's at a corner so there's a street next over that my mom wanted to turn actually it ended up being a one-way street couldn't turn there but we saw it like last minute so my mom was just about to take off to go find another street to turn around and all of a sudden we hear bam and i'm like what happened and i literally went forward and backwards and i'm like what in the world my mom uh, we're in the middle of the road so she went off to the side so she could get out of the street and we get out of the car my mom's bumper was on the floor in the middle of the street i literally was freaking out shaking i've never experienced this in my entire life i've never been in a car accident in my entire life it was very scary for me there was this guy that was like a bystander that kind of like witnessed the whole accident and he came and see us to see how we were doing how we we're feeling and my head started hurting my neck was hurting because like like i said i went forwards and backwards i hit my head on the headrest and thank goodness i was wearing my seat belt thank goodness i have a habit of putting my seat belt when i get into a car that's the first thing i do when i get in a car and the second thing i do is lock the doors now, or else i probably went full and flying up the windshield and i could have like really got badly hurt or i could have even died at that point like i think she didn't even notice us until the last minute because she was going so fast for how much of the impact was was and how much she hit us hard that i'm telling you my mom's car went a little forward for how much she hit us she was blaming it on us that it was our fault yes i get it that it was a little bit our fault in a sense that like we were turning on a one-way street but we realized that after and she didn't even give us the time to even leave guys this is the most shocking thing ever she had nothing on her car her car in the front was not even damaged she had like this much of a scratch on it apparently and i'm like what? What? How is that possible? Us, we have our bumper on the floor for God's sake. She had nothing on her car. Honestly, how is that even possible? The bystander, he ended up calling the cops for us and I was like telling him like, oh my God, I wanna go tell this woman off. Like seriously, what is the matter with this woman? Like, is she nuts? Is she crazy? The guy's like, no, no, calm down, don't worry. At that point, I was like high fuming. I was feeling all these types of emotions. I was in pain. I was furious. I was scared. I was shaking. I was everything. So it was really nice. The guy actually calmed us down, telling us like, don't worry. I care of everything. Call that, call the cops. They're on their way. So we waited for the cops to come. The, they took down the information and we called our mechanic to come pick up the car so we could fix the car. We ended up calling my older sister to come get us because we had no car and way of driving. And to be honest, we didn't even end up getting ice cream that night. The whole point of that night was to get ice cream and we didn't even get ice cream because, or did we? I don't think we did. I don't remember after that. I don't remember if we did. We might have gotten an ice cream because we're like whole point was to get ice cream do you guys feel like getting ice cream i think i didn't even feel like getting ice cream at that point anymore i was just like you know the night is ruined this woman ruined our night after my older sister came and get us we brought my mom's friend home and then we went home and then all night we were just like talking about it discussing about it and we just couldn't believe of what happened but guys honestly be careful of if you're a driver or if you're not and you drive with people just be careful of around you be alert for the driver around you because there's sometimes that i'm driving or i'm driving with someone and they don't see something and i tell them guys watch out they have eyes everywhere around you never know some people they pull out of their driveway they don't look people don't see their blind spots people don't see anything they're on their phones texting honestly the stories that you hear of accidents bad accidents that happen crazy but just driving and honestly you could lose your life just by being on the road guys be alert be very safe because you are responsible for your own self for the person in the car with you if you're with someone it's very scary the people that way they drive today it's not even normal my mom even told me compared to when it was people were driving back in the day to now it's completely different i honestly tell people i'm like how did you get your license i think you should go back to school and redo the test people are just me myself and i on the road and it's not even normal 
I'm a driver myself. I find it very crazy. So I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up. If you guys have your own stories of car accidents or any car related stories, just comment down below. Let me know and I'll even do a video about it. So I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Hit that notification button so you guys are notified whenever I post a video. I try to post a video at least every week. Happy Halloween everyone. If you guys are going out tonight for trick-or-treating, if not, if you guys are a little older, you're not doing that, but just be safe everyone. I hope you guys have a good day. Bye!